Hi everyone, it's Patience and I'm back. Today I'm going to be making assorted meat pepper soup. It's a staple dish in West Africa. Just like for here in Canada, our staple dish is chicken noodle soup. For us Africans as well, it's pepper soup. So I have an assortment of meat here that I've rinsed twice. I put some in a plate just for you to kind of see what I have. So over here I have uh, beef heart, some cubed beef, some goat meat, cow foot right here, and some goat skin. I also have some kidney here which I'm going to cook on its own first because no matter how much you rinse it, you're always going to have this film and kind of like a slime type thing so you got to make sure that you cook it on its own. So I'll do that. And then for seasonings, I have two crayfish flavor Maggi. You could use any type of Maggi or bouillon cube. I have a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of salt, uh, a tablespoon and a half of ground hot pepper, and I have two tablespoons of pepper soup seasoning. I also have a little bit of palm oil here. I'll only be using about a tablespoon of that. I have some hot water here that's going, that's about to start boiling. What I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of palm oil, just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to add the dry seasoning and the Maggie cubes. Okay. I'm also what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the meat into the pot and I'm going to cook until soft. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the pot. It looks like a lot of meat, but it is going to shrink as it cooks. It's actually going to bring up uh, its own liquid due to the steam that will be uh, produced once I cover it up. So I just want to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this till soft to uh, my desired liking and then we'll take it from there. This is what it looks like so far. It's been cooking for a good while now. As you can see, there's a nice brown tint to it. And the meat is, for some people, it, it's considered done. Us personally, we like our meat a little bit softer so I'm gonna go ahead and cook it for a little bit more but as you can see it's looking really good it's looking really rich what I'm going to do now is boil the kidney clean it up and add it in and it will be ready to serve and I'll show you what it looks like after that okay everyone now honestly doesn't this just look gorgeous assorted meat pepper soup it just looks so so delicious I just can't wait to eat what I did was after everything was done in the pot uh, I cooked the kidney I put it in and I covered the pot so after everything was in there what I did was I took out all the meat and I put it in this container right here and then I took a strainer this one I poured it over the container like this and I just strained all the liquid through. That way there wasn't little pieces of meat that broke off and then you still get this nice thick clear broth. You're not going to see any bits of thyme or loose pieces of meat. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. I put some here in a bowl just for my husband to snack on. So as you can definitely see, it looks really, really good. It's really quick, easy. This is an African version of chicken noodle soup. But there's no noodles, it's just all meat. Thanks for watching. Like always, don't forget to subscribe and send me some requests. And I will definitely upload as I cook. Until next time, bye. Enjoy.